Understanding Common Errors in Medical Billing Errors in medical billing can lead to costly consequences for healthcare organizations, including denied claims, lost revenue, and potential penalties. Here's a guide to some common billing errors, particularly in Medicaid and Medicare, and their implications. Hi, I'm Dr. Richard J. Sands, and in this video, we'll explore some of the most common errors in medical billing that can impact healthcare organizations, from coding mistakes to documentation issues. These errors can lead to denied claims, financial penalties, and even compliance risks, especially with Medicaid and Medicare. By understanding these pitfalls and how to address them, healthcare administrators can protect their organizations from costly setbacks and ensure smoother, more effective billing processes. Let's dive into the details to see how you can make a difference in reducing errors and supporting regulatory compliance. 1. Coding Errors Upcoding Billing for a more expensive service or procedure than was provided. For example, charging for a complex procedure when only a basic service was provided. This can lead to legal issues and penalties. Downcoding Billing for a less expensive service than was actually provided. This can cause revenue losses and distort patient care data. Unbundling. Separating charges that should be billed together as a single service. For instance, breaking down services that are typically grouped, leading to inflated costs and potential compliance violations. 2. Incorrect patient information. Demographic errors. Mistakes in patient information, such as name, date of birth, or insurance details, can result in claim denials. Verifying patient data up front is crucial for accurate billing. Insurance plan mismatches. If a patient's insurance information doesn't match the records, the claim may be denied, leading to delays in reimbursement and patient dissatisfaction. 3. Duplicate billing. Repeated claims. Billing for the same service more than once, often by mistake, can lead to penalties and distrust from payers. Regular audits can help identify duplicate claims and prevent them from being submitted. 4. Lack of authorization or documentation. Missing prior authorization. For some services, insurers require pre-approval. Failing to obtain this can result in claim denial. Medicare and Medicaid may have strict prior authorization requirements, and overlooking them can disrupt patient care. Insufficient documentation. Billing codes must match the documentation in the patient's file. Without thorough documentation, the claim may be denied for lack of evidence supporting the billed service. Five. Billing for non-covered services. Out-of-scope services. Each insurance plan, including Medicaid and Medicare, has specific services they cover. Billing for services not covered by the patient's insurance can lead to denials and financial loss if the patient cannot pay out of pocket. Medically unnecessary services. Billing for procedures not deemed necessary based on clinical guidelines can lead to denials. Ensuring that the medical necessity is documented helps in supporting the billed services. 6. Misinterpretation of payer rules. Incorrect use of modifiers. Some codes require modifiers to specify the service type, and incorrect usage can lead to denials or underpayment. Failure to update with payer policy changes. Medicaid and Medicare often change billing rules. Staying updated on these changes is essential, as outdated practices can lead to compliance risks and denied claims. 7. Time frame errors. Late submissions. Most insurers, including Medicaid and Medicare, have strict deadlines for claim submissions. Submitting claims after the deadline results in automatic denials, leading to lost revenue. Resubmission issues. When a claim is denied, it must be corrected and resubmitted promptly. Failing to do so within the required time frame may result in permanent loss of reimbursement. Implications of medical billing errors. Errors in medical billing can lead to financial penalties or reimbursement denials. Increase administrative costs as claims must be corrected and resubmitted. Reduce patient trust, especially if errors affect their financial responsibility or care experience. Create compliance risks, especially with government payers like Medicare and Medicaid. Strategies for reducing billing errors. 1. Regular training. Educate staff on accurate billing practices new coding requirements, and payer-specific rules. 2. Use of technology. Implement billing software to flag potential errors, 
such as duplicate entries or incomplete codes. 3. Routine audits. Conduct regular internal audits to identify and address billing mistakes before they reach insurers. 4. Clear documentation. Ensure that all clinical services are fully documented to support the billing codes used. 5. Communication with payers. Stay informed on updates to insurance policies and coding changes for accurate billing. I hope you have found this helpful for understanding the common pitfalls in medical billing and the steps you can take to prevent them. Remember, accurate billing is not just about avoiding penalties. It's about ensuring patients receive the care they need without unnecessary complications. By staying informed and proactive, you can make a significant impact on your organization's success and integrity. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights on effective healthcare administration.